Welcome back to day 9 of the 31 Days of Horror series. Today we're going old school, like really old school. We're diving into the Cabernet of Dr. Caligari, a 1920 film that is over 100 years old, but still manages to be creepier than most of the crap coming out today. This movie isn't just a horror classic, it's the freaking godfather of psychological horror. So what's it about? Well, we got this crazy cardinal hypnotist named Dr. Caligari, who's using a sleepwalker named Cesare to carry out murders. Yeah, you heard me right. He's got a guy under mind control doing his dirty work while he just sits back and looks all sinister in his top hat. Honestly, for a film that came out in 1920, this plot is dark as hell. Now, let's talk about why this movie was way ahead of its time. First off, the visuals are straight up insane. The set designs look like a Tim Burton fever dream with twisted, jagged buildings and weird ass shapes everywhere. It's not just a set, it's like you stepped into some sort of nightmare landscape where nothing makes sense. And that's kind of the point, it's German expressionism baby. This one. I thought you'd like it. It's German. Did you ever hear BMW idiot? I'm sorry I can never please you. This style was all about using exaggerated visuals to reflect the inner madness of the story. It's a reminder that sometimes the scariest place you can be is inside someone's messed up head. And the acting? Sure, it's melodramatic, but what do you expect from a silent film? The exaggerated facial expressions and body language actually adds to the creepy vibe. Conrad Veidt as Cesare, the sleepwalking killer, has these wide, intense eyes that will haunt your dreams. Like, why does a guy from the 1920s look scarier than most modern CGI monsters? Don't give me your fucking Manson lamps. Just fucking stop. What really sets the cabinet of Dr. Caligari apart is how it was a pioneer of the twist ending. I'm not going to spoil it here, even if the movie is a century old, but let's just say this film took the idea of an unreliable narrator and ran with it way before it was cool. It was basically saying, hey Hollywood, here's how you mess with people's minds. What the fuck is this? I don't know. For a film made before the concept of horror as a genre even existed, Caligari wasn't just ahead of its time. It practically invented a psychological horror playbook. It laid the groundwork for mind-bending movies we know and love today, like Psycho, Shutter Island, and The Sixth Sense, as well as being the inspiration for a badass music video by Rob Zombie called Living Dead Girl. So if you've never seen this one, do yourself a favor and check it out. Don't let the fact that it's a silent film scare you off. There's more nightmare fuel in here than most modern films can dream of. Plus, it's a great way to feel all sophisticated and artsy while you're getting creeped out. Sorry, but this is a highly sophisticated do-wacky. If you don't use it responsibly, kablamo! Thanks again for watching, and be sure to check back tomorrow for the next installment of the 31 Days of Horror series.